was curious. I wanted to ask you, I know we've talked about this before, but to have it on video too, like for you, Bill's Mafia and like what this community is, like what do they mean to you? And like, you're obviously still very involved in a lot of ways. Like why stay, why do you stay involved? Uh, because they had my back, you know, through the ups and downs, you know, mainly through the through the down times. Uh, that's where I really see the loyalty. That's where everybody can see the loyalty. You know, when everything's going good, it's easy to be around. But uh, when things went bad, they were still solid for me. So, you know, I just from there on, I, I stay solid to them uh, throughout my life. Yeah. If you were to kind of describe like how do you feel like your relationship with this, like the Bills and the fan base has changed over time? Like since like, obviously your playing career ended, like, do you feel like it's changed since then? Like, have you kind of come back to Buffalo more? Like how, how did that kind of happen? Um, honestly, I haven't felt nothing, nothing changed. You know, I think it's kind of been the same, you know? Um, uh, yeah. The, the personnel may have changed, but yeah. I think the love that, that I've already been, you know, that I cared about, it's been it's been the same, you know. It ain't always been on ten, but it's it's always been there, you know. Yep. Yeah, so I, I I mess with it. I mess yeah. With it. One thing I wanted to ask you about was like I think there was probably like one point during your playing career and like after the fact that you like you must have gotten like questions about the Steelers game like that like often has oh, yeah. that like changed now where it's more just like hey it's Stevie like so excited so, like what's up like less yeah. about that and like more <laughs> about like hey it's good to see you and like that kind of thing <laughs> yeah uh uh I mean when it, <laughs> I've heard not. it a few times but like on the internet like the main thing that's on my mind when it pops up usually yeah. like let's say I put a highlight of something you know mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, this is how you do this or something. And then they'll throw in like, hey, well, yeah, what happened in Pittsburgh? So it's like <laughs> Okay, so it still comes up. <laughs> what can I do about that, yo? <laughs> but but that's like the only time it, it'll pop up. I, I've had I've been to dart tournaments and a guy comes pull me to the side. Hey man, like he got a great, great story to tell me. And he tell me, man, I lost money on you. I was like, man, get up out of my face, dude. <laughs> I tells a friend of it. Yeah. But I just, you know, I, I take it for what it is. You know, I, I wish I could be perfect. That's why I felt how I felt. Like, I know I let people down, first and foremost, my teammate, you know, this, then the city that I represented. So, like, I was in myself. It's like I was I was I was sad. I was super sad at that because that never happened before. But, you know, let's say that happened to me earlier in life, you know, then I would have been able to learn how to deal with that. So once yeah. again, that's how it turns back into this exposure academy, letting them know reassure that you know it's not going to be perfect but you will be all right you know so yeah. you won't have to deal with what I went through yeah know? but also being able to point to yourself and be like I turned you know like I'm right like, like if someone brings it up it's not the end of the world right like kind Indeed. of like, Indeed. see yourself as an example and exactly exactly yeah. that's really cool um one thing I wanted to ask you about just about leading up to that game and this is like a super minor thing but like do you feel like, was there anything now that when you've looked back on it that like stands out to you about, or is it just like a normal game? Like, or is there anything when you've looked back over the years that's like, oh, nah, yeah. that week X, Y, Z was going on or like something like that? Yeah, nah, I was tripping. It was on me. It was on me, to be honest. Like, uh, it, actually with that play that had happened, I, I took that play off in practice, you know, like, yeah, I, I'll make it, whatever, you know, yeah. and, and, and I missed it. And it's like, you know, that's where it's like you really got to hustle. You got to stay on it every time. You know, you can't yeah. just even if you got to walk through it and miss it in practice, just get through that motion of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the now the first time that I ran that V route yeah. was in the game. It's like, dang, what, of all times, you know, but uh, that was just that was just one of them. That was a learning game for me because I was missing passes all all game on that one. So it was just it was just weird. But um, looking back, yeah, it was that practice time you know yeah I I should have I should have kept I love I usually love practicing I'm, I'm in every time but but that time was like the last rep or something too it was crazy it was the last rep too it was like man yeah go ahead y'all got it I've been practicing all day <laughs> yeah damn it <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy did you were, yeah, were you able to like pick up from that like as your career continued were you able to like reflect and be like oh I gotta like practice has got to be like a certain way like even while you were still playing yeah, I just couldn't have that thought that I had, that mindset yeah. that I had when I took that that rep off. Cause I could have ran back and then and then got that that last rep, but it was more like a um like we did like three or four reps and then we're off. And then it was the next group to go on and do that, you know, that last session. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. and I could have went on and got that last rep, but I was mentally like, I already got it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you feel like that, go get it. Just go get it. You know, that's that's where I where I adjust my mindset on that. I start re- reacting off um initiative. I would say it takes like taking initiative on that feeling. For sure. And now I thought one, like we're looking back on our original interview, like I thought one thing that was really interesting how you said like, you know, like the player fan interaction in Buffalo when you first got there was like not as much, like not as extreme. Like right. if that was something you thought was really important to like yeah. get going. I'm yeah. looking now at how like, like it's still crazy to me that like with the way these players are like with this fan base that like there was a time it wasn't. Right, like right. That. What is that like for you to like kind of now see like, that it's such like a close you know like you were a key part in like changing like to what it is now where it's like they it's so it's such a thing (laughs) that's wild that you even bring that because I didn't even I didn't even think about it like that you know I knew what I did but dang that's crazy because like the connection is like this now yeah but it was when I was there there was no connection at all it was just wild the fans was cheering but there was no reaction from the guys on the field to the to the fans yeah. And I just couldn't like, yo, they paying money. They paying money to come see us play football. And you just made a good play and you're not even acknowledging that. Yeah. You know, look at them. They going crazy. <laughs> I, I was like, I know exactly how I'm going to get on this team. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to yeah. make plays. I'm going to acknowledge the fans and they'll love me. And hopefully that's enough for the for the team to, to keep me. Yeah. Um, that was my mindset as a 20 year old. That's crazy. Year old, <laughs> that's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, so like if crazy. the fans like me, they'll have a harder time like letting me go, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. And it and it kind of worked that way because the message boards start talking about, about <laughs> my name, you know? Yeah. And um and yeah, so then from there, that's like where I had to think, like, okay, now how do I keep my name going? And without it being so stressful, like like running regular routes. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, that's what I'm gonna use basketball moves. And then when I did the basketball, people was like, oh, snap. But he doing something different out here. You know, coaches couldn't explain it. They couldn't coach it. The fans loved it. And it kind of like helped because I was a unique asset as a seventh round pick. You know, I just wasn't a basic person or player. Is that why you kind of like wanted to have fun touchdown celebrations, like make them more of a thing? Like, was it along those lines, too? Or was that something else? Nope. Yeah, that was something else. So I I only wanted to do like celebrate celebratory things because when I came up playing football, I've seen Deion Deion Sanders and Terrell Owens was my guys Mm -hmm. um, that I watched. And um, and when I when they scored or whenever they did something good, they was either high stepping or doing some kind of dance. And I felt like I like that. I want to do that, too. If I score, I want to do that. So, you know, as a Pop Warner kid, I doing uh, touchdowns and high stepping from the 50 you know, getting in trouble. Then I got to the league, I scoring and getting in trouble. But that was all personal stuff. Like I just wanted to fulfill that, you know, because yeah. that was my goal, you know. No, for sure. And what is it like now when you kind of do go to games and you see like what it's like when like, I mean, in my head, I have like Jordan Phillips, like constantly is like getting the crowd to make noise and like guys like yeah. that who are like really wanting to get them involved. Is that like, I know you maybe didn't connect the two, but is that like cool now to be like, that has kept going like since I was yeah. there. Yeah, super cool. It's super cool. It makes me want to be a, a a coach, you know, even though I don't want to be a coach, <laughs> but it just makes me want to be out there and do the same thing as they was as they're doing yeah. at that time, you know. Um, but you know, I have my time with it and it's good to see how 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 huge it is and how how much of a hit it is with, within our community, our Bills Mafia community. Yeah. Um I, I'm actually looking forward to traveling to doing Bills Bills backer tours. You know, and connect them more with the yeah with the mafia, and you know we'll see how that we'll see how that go as the season come along. Oh, cool! Like, are you like trying to even so do even more like with the Bills connection, like even like yeah. get more involved with the fan base? Yeah, definitely. You know, because I, I I was looking at how uh, I think it is TNT, not TNT, but TBS or Fox, how they do their thing, and I felt like you know we got a pretty unique fan base, and they're everywhere. You know, so it's like let's create something where we can tour and. And and set up shop at the bar, at the backer bars, do our podcast and do our community engagement events. And um and I was thinking we have like a, a camp the day before for like the kids and the family free camp. Um that way we involve like the sports and then we go to the to the bar the next day for the game. But um yeah, I, I connected with a few uh with a few uh, chapters and you know we it's in the works it's in the works so you know we we may be going so be on the lookout for it it'll be something fun. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.